Hi, I'm Dan McLaughlin, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Viber Band. The Viber Band was uh, an instrument that Stan Wood of Portland, Oregon, originated, or at the very least, he originated the technique of playing this strip of latex. Now, the latex um, that I'm using actually comes from the estate of Stan Wood, um, it is aging. Latex is, you've got to keep it cool, dry, and, um, you know, protected in a shady spot. Otherwise, it'll just kind of roll up into a little brown, sticky mess. And unfortunately, that's what happened to a lot of the, the fiber bands that Stan Wood gave to me. In any case, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I have been cutting the fiber bands. And I've been using a, a fabric or an, an actual latex cutter to do so. And Stan Wood used to use uh, safety razors and he would painstakingly, uh, you know, push them down like a little guillotine every step of the way. Uh, Ken Butler uses a different technique of placing the, the material between two pieces of paper and cutting them with a very sharp, uh, paper cutter. Now I've tried this with my, I'm a teacher and at school I've been trying it and it just hasn't worked. I think I need like a super sharp one, an excellently calibrated one. So I'm going to show you my way, which is using a fabric cutter. Afterwards, I'm going to show you some pro tips on how to play a Viber band yourself. And please remember in all of these uh, suggestions I've given you are just that, there's suggestions. Uh, please feel free to experiment. That's what Stan Wood would have been into, and he was constantly experimenting. Uh, these are just some things that have worked for me. They may not work for you. Um, so be flexible and be your own best teacher. Okay, folks, so what I have here is a little strip of the latex that I've cut into a manageable square. Uh, one of the things you'll find in cutting this kind of latex is that it has a tendency to bend as you're cutting it. And so cutting it in straight lines is very difficult. This is why uh, Ken Butler has a technique of using a uh, uh, paper cutter, putting it between two sheets of paper. I think you gotta have a real good paper cutter for that. I've tried it and it hasn't worked for me, but anyway, here's my method. So we've got underneath a, um, you see a little grid and this is a cutting, uh, some sort of a cutting board thing. Uh, it's the kind of thing you'd put an X-Acto knife on uh, to cut shapes of uh, paper, fabric, whatever. The advantage of this is you can see the lines as yeah, I think you can kind of perceive the lines uh, through the Viber Band material. Um, I'm gonna put down an old Doors CD to just kind of hold the sheet in place and now i'm going to take a this is a latex cutter it's seen better days and i'm going to try to follow along this middle dotted line and basically i'm holding down this uh cd to kind of flatten out the entire uh, latex sheet now i'm going to try to go on slightly this uh, the just one side of this dotted line and I'm gonna follow that dotted line all the way up okay and now we have boom we have a Viber band okay uh, here's the thing it's not even I know it's got a smudge on it there it's not even but you know Stan Wood's Viber Bands were never quite even. Uh, and you might find that you need it to be a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner. I find that this width is the best for working uh, with to, to try to get notes out of, you know. I've tried uh, wider widths and it's a little bit more difficult to get a note out of it.
Okay, so let's see how this sounds. So I cut the Viber band. I took it out and it's always like, is this going to work or not? And is my technique going to be consistent? Um, and I originally picked it up by the thin side and I tried it and it's like, not quite happening. So I took it on the thicker side and I tried that. See how that works, you know? Sometimes you gotta experiment. So much easier to get a note. Sort of a multiphonic note there. So Stan always said, if you start playing the vibra band, try to hit a single sustaining note and try to sustain that note. And, um, and I did, and it doesn't always work. You know, that might not be the way. Sometimes pick it up and try to make notes and you might make notes. I don't know. You gotta be your own teacher. But I kinda took Stan's words to heart and I tried to do a single note and then I tried to do a multiphonic. And then, then I tried a single note and then add a note with just by touching part of the vibra band. Another thing about the vibra band is if you need to notice how I'm kind of making an airfoil, you know, in other words, think of the vibra band as a wing. And if you notice, there's a curve to that wing and I'm kind of grasping it, making a little, little arch with my thumb. And I'm putting the vibra band pretty much in my mouth. <laughs> And then I, I, back in uh, middle school, I was a trombone player and I learned a little bit about the arpature. Um, and, you know, as a kid, I was surprised to know, wow, so many notes are done just by pursing your lips. And I realized, wow, you know, the bugle calls of a military bugle, they're all done with just the lips, not, there's no valves or anything on that bugle. bugle. It's funny because when I grew up, when you grow up in Hawaii, uh, the elementary schools all have military bugle sounds for assembly and for, uh, well, at least for assembly. Anyway, <laughs> so you want to get, when you think about that arpature for the trumpet, you think of, an, an, or a trombone, you think of the ba 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 you know, ba 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 like that, okay? So you can do a similar thing with the vibra band. <laughs> and then I can't do it. That's all done by pursing my lower lips. Now notice if I add a note to some of that, the kind of scale it kind of creates. said before you got to be your own teacher and you got to try different things uh, you never know what might work for you I'm just giving you the stuff that has worked for me uh, and so for me the biggest thing the biggest surprise about the Viber band is you're making a I make a curved surface like a airfoil and then the wind blowing over that surface is what creates the Viber band the vibration that creates the sound and then you remember your arpature, that you've got at least three that you might be able to reach. Uh, there's more. There's at least, you could probably get to five. But you hit those three, and then you add a note by just that one. It's a little half step that you, note, that you add with your finger. Um, and then you start improvising and make, having fun.